I've created a lot of videos showing how to do ad hoc analysis with DuckDB. So in this one, we're gonna do something a little bit different. So I'm a big tennis fan and I like looking at the head-to-head -head records of players. Now the official ATP website has a feature that does this. And so I wanted to see if I could replicate it and maybe do a little bit better. Welcome to Learn Data with Mark. Our partner in crime for this video is going to be Streamlit, which is my favorite tool for quickly building data apps with Python. So we're gonna come over to VS Code and we're gonna have a look at our app.py file here. We're gonna import Streamlit and then we're just gonna create a title at the top of the page called ATP head to head. Now let's come over to our terminal and we're gonna call Streamlit run app.py and then we're just gonna pass in server headless true so that it doesn't automatically open the browser. And then we're just gonna manually open the browser and there we can see we've got uh, a page, very, very simple at the moment, right? Just got a header, ATP head to head. Let's come back to app.py and we're gonna import DuckDB and then we're gonna create a connection to our ATP Duck database that we created in the previous video. Once we've done that, we're gonna create ourselves a function. So remember, we need to be able to search for the two players. So we're gonna create a function that does that. Uh, and what we're gonna do is so we're gonna make it uh, case insensitive and we're gonna pass in one variable. We're gonna pass in the name of the player and then we're gonna search the winners and the losers for the player. And then we're gonna just return uh, the, the values that we find. And eventually we will select one of them from the UI. Now we're gonna be using a tool called Streamlit Searchbox for do, to do this. And I've been looking for something like this for ages. I'm really grateful that this exists. And if we come back to our app.py, we can import this. So we go from Streamlit Searchbox, import ST Searchbox. And now if we just come down a bit, uh, we're gonna split our, our page kind of into two. So we'll have the one player on the left and one player on the right. Uh, so we'll create two columns and then we'll put, create a search box. We'll create a search box for player one. And then on the right hand side, Let's now create a search box for player two. Once we've done that, let's just create a little dividing line. And then we're gonna say, if you've filled in player one and player two, then we're gonna print out a header that says player one versus player two. And we'll, at the moment, we'll just say, hey, we haven't found any matches between these players. If we come back to our Streamlit app and hit the R command to refresh it, uh, we can see we've got we've got the search box now. And now let's search for some players. So we're gonna search for Djokovic uh, on the left. So you can see there he is, <laughs> let's select him. And now let's come over to player two and we'll search for Rafael Nadal. And there he is on the drop down. so let's select him. And you can see it automatically fills them in uh, further down. So we can see it now says Novak Djokovic versus Rafael Nadal. No matches found between these players. Okay, let's come back to app.py again. And now we're gonna put in a query um, just above just, or just below the, the player one and player two. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna search for the matches where one of the players is the loser and the other one is the winner and then, and then vice versa. And then we'll pass in player one and player two as parameters. And we're gonna add in ifs, an if statement around our previous header. Uh, which, so we're gonna use that one if we couldn't find any matches. So if the length of that matches for players data frame is zero, then we're gonna use that. And then we're gonna put in an else statement that says, okay, now if we've actually got some matches, let's show the data frame instead. And if we come back to Streamlit, we can see now we've actually got the matches. So you can kind of see there's been like a bunch of matches between Nadal and Djokovic. So we see we've got some in 2022, we've got some in 2021, and there's altogether, there's, there's a lot more sort of going down the page. But how many are there? So I wanted to see how many wins has each player had. So we can actually work that out. So we can actually drop into uh, into pandas here and we can do some filtering so we can say hey, I'm going to filter uh, the, to get the player one wins I'm going to find where the, the winner uh, was player one and grab the first value of the shape that's going to be the length of how many matches there were and then I'll do the same for player two and then we're going to update that header function so we're going to put in instead of having versus we're going to put player one wins and then player two wins if we come back to the browser again you can see now it's it's got the, the total win so Djokovic is currently winning 30 to 29 so there's not much in it they've played 59 times this is the most that any two players have played let's come back to app.py again and let's see if we can do a bit of drill dance first of all let's just put in a, a header above the matches so to indicate that it's matches and now we're going to uh, create another couple of columns and we're going to do we're going to find first we're going to look at the matches by surface so who's winning by surface and we'll write in a query here uh, using the uh, duck duck db so we're going to call duck db uh, atp duck sql and then what's really cool here is that we can actually query this data frame as if it was a table in duck db so we're going to just go hey select the winner name the surface and count how many wins they had uh, get, group it by all the columns and then get me a data frame for that and then we're just going to pivot it so we switch round uh, switch it round 
so that we're going to get the, the surface and the player and then the winds sort of coming down. And then we'll do the same thing uh, under that right hand column, but this time by round. So same kind of thing, just gr grouping by the round this time. And then again, do the pivot uh, to get the results. And if we come over here, uh, we can see we get the, the, the name of the surface and each player and then how many wins they've got. So we can see on clay, Nadal, as you might expect, absolutely dominant, but on hard court, it's the other way around. And then if we look at when they've played each other, when it's finals, it's kind of quite, 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 quite equal. Um, 16 wins for Djokovic, 13 for Nadal. And then you can see they've met in um, some a round robin, they've met in a quarterfinal and a semifinal as well. And we can do it for another player, right? So we could, my, my favorite player is Andy Murray. So we could, we could have a look uh, for him against Nadal. So we can go and update the player one and see, hey, Murray against Nadal is not, not quite such good uh, viewing uh, for Murray. Uh, but if we, and if we can scroll down, we can see the matches that they've played. They actually haven't played for almost seven years now. And so there's obviously a lot more that we could add to this app, but I think that will do for now. I'm going to include the code in the description if you want to play around with it, and I'll see you in the next one.